Hello, welcome to the new West Jordan Middle School. Right behind me is the entryway to the brand new school. Come on in. This is the main office area. This is where parents will come in. It'll be a secure vestibule. The principal's office is right here. So I'm accessible to the public, to the patrons, to the parents, to the students, right as you come in the building. And uh, this is the dreaded principal's office. So this will be a really nice area for the students to um, to come and you know get some light, um, get some fresh air. We'll have basketball hoops outside and a play field outside, so our students will be able to um, relax and play and socialize at lunchtime. But uh, overall, the the improvement of the increased space is going to be. Um, just awesome for us. We'll be able to go to two lunches instead of three lunches and um, that'll give us a little more flexibility in our school day schedule. So we're at a T between two grade level pods. Um, in each grade level pod there's 12 classrooms, six upstairs and six downstairs. Um, each of those levels will be a team of teachers who work collaboratively with a group of students. So this is a writable wall surface. Um, students will be able to come right up, um, demonstrate for other students, demonstrate their understanding, put their thinking right up on the wall. We'd be able to wipe it down and um, start over again the next day. So it promotes a lot of creativity, a lot of uh, collaboration, uh, a lot of student demonstration of knowledge with being able to write on the wall. I'm also ordering writable desks. So the students are going to be able to show their knowledge on their desks, on the wall. Um, we're going to have to mark off areas where you can't write in the school because we're going to be encouraging that. Um, this classroom is mirrored with, the, with another classroom. So there's a, a breakout room here in the middle. So teachers can uh, put small groups of students in this middle classroom, like a think tank, do uh, group activities, smaller group activities. They can collaborate with each other um, if they want to um, pull students in from both classes and have them collaborate in this space. It's visible to both teachers. You can see we have this gorgeous view of the mountain range outside the window. Again, once the old building is demolished, we'll have just a spectacular view of the mountains. So that's something this two-story school with the windows and the stairwell right here, we're able to showcase that for the students. Wow, look at that. We're gonna be so excited to have a track inside. Okay, so this is our brand new Lion Gym right here. Uh, complete with the running track, very spacious. Uh, it's going to be really nice for our students. And we, with the addition of a weight room and a dance kind of multi-purpose room, uh, we'll be able to offer a lot more electives to our students, get them up and moving like we want them to be. That we could have two teachers in the gym at the same time. So 80 students in here, uh, without conflict that they actually get to learn some sports and you know have the space that they need to be safe so we're really looking forward to that. This auditorium will seat uh, close to 800 students. We hold after, after school events um, the auditorium entrance is right through the main doors um, it'll be easy for the parents and patrons to access the new auditorium um, there's some stadium seating in there, so it's a real intimate view of what's on, on the stage. It'll be nice for our community. Okay, this is the new ceramics room, and I want to give a shout out to my people in facilities and MHTN architects, and uh, really working with the school collaboratively. Um, I know it's something that can be a difficult process to um, fulfill everyone's kind of wish list when it comes to building a new facility, but it, um, in working in the collaborative process, we were able to talk about our needs in the arts area um, and ask for some, some specific kinds of 
amenities to go in. So for example, we've asked for this side of the room to have a different kind of flooring with a clay trap that will be built in here. So they'll uh, remove this and create a, a drainage system in there specifically for wheel thrown ceramics uh, pottery. Um, and had we not had that uh, collaborative process, we wouldn't have the, the ability to uh, deliver a good wheel thrown um, class for our students. This is our, our faculty room area. Um, it'll be really nice. We have this glass overlook of the media center. So the library media center is right below here. Uh, nice open area with a lot of, again, a lot of natural light, a lot of window space. Um, you can see the color, the sound panels are going up and those are the um, themed colors of each of the pods in the building. We're really grateful for the community and for the school board that um, allowed this to take place and provide this new school to the community. Um, thanks for coming out and visiting our new school.